guys, it's Tuesday. Um, I'm filming my video right before class. I tend to do that. Um, yeah. Um, I always say um a lot. Mm, I guess I'll start with the challenges first. Uh, Leah's challenge was if you can invent something futuristic, what would you invent? And I'm going to be a dork and say I want a machine. It's always a machine, isn't it? Or like something that you can do, like you can snap your fingers or something and I'll add a bookcase or something and a book that you want to read will suddenly appear because I love reading and it's kind of annoying going outside and you know taking the bus all the way to the bookstore and then trying to find the book and then you know once you get the book it's good but you know getting there it's just yeah and if it's cold outside and raining you want a good book but you don't have one so yeah a machine that gets you books because that would be awesome um Amanda's challenge was to listen to three push play songs and by the way they're coming to DC in like two days I think they saw I don't remember at the 930 club and maybe I'll go but, um, the first song that played was The Life, and I actually enjoyed that out of the three that I listened to. And so they chose a good song to put so everyone, you know, could listen. It's a good song. I liked that one. Um, Lauren's challenge was, or question, rather, was, um, when did you start watching One Tree Hill and Why? I watched the pilot. I think it was, like, 14. And I, I don't remember. There was some show that just ended, and I was sad, and I was just like, okay, I want another show. So I decided to watch One Tree Hill and, um... It wasn't bad. The pilot didn't really catch me, but I liked it. So I continued watching it, and my love increased. So, yeah. I've watched it since the pilot. It was good. So, I think it was, like, Hillary Burton was a VJ on uh, TRL, and I think I remember... I liked her. She's my favorite VJ. And then I was like, oh, you're going to be on the show. That's cool. And so, kind of partly why I watched it. God, you guys remember Peyton in season one? Oh, man. Her and Nathan. Wow. Okay. Sorry. Um, okay. Welcome, Shireen and Roxy. I'm going to give you guys a virtual hug. Okay. That didn't work very well. But, um, hey, welcome to the family, guys. I'm excited you guys joined us. <laughs> yeah, you got your guys' videos was really good. I think that was really bad grammar. Your videos were great. They were fantastic. Good job to you both. Um, let's see. Shireen's challenge was, of course what I was wearing in all one color and I'll insert that here hey guys this is my outfit it's all one color um, I chose black I was already wearing this shirt for Twilight Tuesday so I just found some black shorts and I would have had socks god I'm short I would have had socks I don't know where my black socks are um, yeah and my uh, glasses are black and I suppose that's it so that's my outfit Bird. Bye guys! And then Roxy's was, if you could listen to two artists for two months, who would it be? And Kate will always be, like, the artist I'll listen to all the time. So, I didn't include her, even though she's included. Does that make sense? To other artists, besides, you know, Kate, um, the Hush Sound. I just, I just really like them. They're awesome, and I like to listen to their music, and, and it never gets old. Every time I listen to it, I always like it, and, um, also... Probably Brendan James, which I went to go see last night. He was really nice, and he played a really great set. And um, maybe I'll include some footage because I I recorded Green and I like that song. And it was just it was really good. It was a nice place too. It was like a little cafe. I couldn't find how I would get there, but I did eventually, and it was a good set. And I talked to him for a little while, so that was nice. So Brendan and uh, Hush Sound, those are my two. And um, Miranda. Okay, so I suck and I just saw your video and I gotta go to class in a little while and I can't put up a sentence all together at once, so I'm going to. Um, I'm just gonna do it after class. So, God, that's a difficult challenge, man. But it's a good one. I hope I can succeed so it can make sense. Might be a little difficult, maybe. Um, so yeah, I'll do that. And um, my challenge for you guys is to make a haiku for Kate. That's it. I hope you guys know what a haiku is. I like saying that word, haiku. Alright. Um, yeah. Hope everyone has a really good week. My week was good. Went to see Brendan James, and then, um, hopefully this week on Thursday I'll get to meet Kristen Stewart, who plays Bella in Twilight, and very exciting. The movie comes out next week. I'm super excited. I'm not showing it right now, because you guys probably be freaked out by my, uh, happiness, but, uh, yeah. Sorry, Lauren, that Harry Potter isn't showing next week. I know I was supposed to. But, yeah. That sucks.
Yeah, I'm alone. I'm being upset. I'm upset too, because I wanted to see it. Man, it was supposed to be next week. That kind of blows. But the Twilight fan in me brings it up to, like, I'm so super psyched that uh, Twilight comes out next week. You have no idea. But hey, you know, maybe I can catch up on my reading too, except I haven't read any of the Harry Potter books. Okay, this has gone long enough. So you guys have a really good week. Make that haiku. Make count. Yeah. Alright. Bye.